Jenny and Chris Marr found out they were pregnant, they didn't expect to hear they were having identical quadruplets. Multiples don't <laughs> run in their families. They hadn't done IVF treatments either. So the odds, by the way, one in 11 to 15 million. So guess who's with us from Dallas? Jenny and Chris, their newborn sons, Harrison, Henry, Hudson, and Hardy. And guys, first of all, welcome in. And we are so struck by how beautifully peaceful it seems in your house. Is this just a moment in time? It is kind of a moment right now. This week and last week, everybody started sort of finding their voices. And so it's not necessarily a crying more than it is that they're just screaming to scream. So they're kind of laughing and screaming. And uh, we actually just missed Henry just a minute ago making all those noises. So they're they're being quiet for the moment. <laughs> hey, Jenny, Chris, how, forgive the ignorance here. How do you tell them apart if they're all identical? We're not certain we have them in the right order this morning. <laughs> it, was a, it was a little last minute. It was definitely a little last minute. But they, each one of them has a little, little bit of small characteristics you can pick out kind of when you're changing them. But when they're fully clothed like this, it is definitely very hard to tell who's who. Well, it, it's, a, it's such a long shot to have quadruples, as we said, without IVF or anything. And on top of everything else, you, you were having these babies in the middle of a pandemic. What was that like for you guys? Yeah, so, you know, we gave birth the day before the mandatory stay-at-home orders, and so fortunately we were just in the hospital anyway, so there wasn't a whole lot to do there, but it just made a big difference in regards to people visiting us at the hospital, anybody being able to see the babies. You know, Chris and I were the only two allowed to see the babies um, in the NICU, and, you know, just a lot more of, of checking our temperature and wearing a mask all the time, so... Um, every day was a new protocol kind of at the hospital. So it was kind of interesting. You know, we all started learning what was going on and how to address things um, together. We hear them. Oh, we do. We hear them. <laughs> the Mar family party of six. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Keep us posted, though. We want to keep this going because we don't we don't get to interact with a lot of identical quadruplets here today. We love you guys. Thanks for coming to see us. Thank you. Thank you.